In the aftermath of the Galwan clash between India and China, tensions soared to unprecedented levels, leading Beijing to bolster its air power significantly. Air Chief Marshal RKS Badauria, the former Indian Air Force Chief, has revealed that China deployed five times more J-20 stealth fighters than India's then newly procured Rafale jets during the standoff. He emphasized the strategic importance of the Rafale fighter jets, describing them as the strongest weapon system in the inventory at the time. The arrival of the first Rafale prompted China to station four J-20 fighters in response. As the number of Rafales in India's arsenal increased to four, China ramped up its deployment to 20 J-20s, resulting in a ratio of five J-20s deployed by Beijing to counter each Rafale. The J-20, regarded as China's most advanced fighter aircraft, was a direct countermeasure to the Rafale's capabilities. The Chinese knew what India could do. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. Badaria also mentioned the term salami slicing, a tactic attributed to China's gradual encroachment on Indian territory. He recalled the challenges faced before the Rafale acquisition, noting that prior efforts to procure these advanced jets had been unsuccessful until a government-to-government -government contract facilitated their purchase. While Badoria did not specify the exact locations and times of these deployments, previous reports indicated that in the months following the Galwan clash, China positioned J-20s near the Indian border at the Hotan Air Base in Xinjiang province. This move came in response to the perceived threat posed by India's Rafale jets, which had begun conducting night flying exercises in the mountainous terrain of Himachal Pradesh shortly after their induction. Despite attempts to downplay the deployment in Chinese media, the move's significance was not lost on international observers, who recognized its implications for regional stability. Acknowledging the J-20's long-range capabilities, Chinese media justified the deployment as routine training exercises to enhance operational readiness. However, the strategic positioning of this aircraft near India's borders highlighted China's assertive posture in the region. Since then, China has intensified its military presence at the Houghton Air Base, stationing a diverse pack of fighter jets and drones to bolster its defensive capabilities. In June 2022, a substantial build-up took place with the People's Liberation Army Air Force deploying around two dozen frontline combat aircraft, including the J-11 and J-20 stealth fighters. The disclosure by the former Indian Air Force chief has reignited the long-standing debate surrounding India's Rafale fighter jets and China's J-20 stealth aircraft. The revelation that China deployed 20 J-20s to counter just four Rafales has especially sparked discussions regarding the comparative capabilities of these advanced war machines, both touted as crown jewels by their respective air forces. This deployment ratio not only underscores the Rafale's perceived potency as a formidable adversary, but also prompts inquiries into the efficacy and confidence in the J-20's ability to neutralize the Rafale threat. While Chinese authorities have regularly lauded the J-20's capabilities, claiming it can counter American F-35s and F-22s, many experts persist in their skepticism regarding its true combat prowess. One significant factor is that although the J-20s have been marketed as fifth-generation stealth jets, their primary limitation lies in their lack of proven combat experience. In contrast, the French Rafale has been operational for almost 25 years, participating in military campaigns in Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, and Syria, where it was engaged in ground strike missions. While these operations may not exclusively involve air-to-air -air combat, they do demonstrate the Rafale's capability as a combat-ready aircraft, a distinction that cannot yet be attributed to the J-20s. Meanwhile, Beijing is aware of the debate surrounding the untested status of the J-20s in real combat scenarios which remains a noteworthy point of contention. Jai Hind!